Hey gang and welcome to another Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at 10 features which have recently been discovered in the 2.0 update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Of course this update is just chocked full of different new features, exciting quality of life changes and more. So I want to go over even more of these which you should know about in Animal Crossing New Horizons and that you might have missed for yourself. The 2.0 update has drastically changed Animal Crossing New Horizons forever and some of these updates are just absolutely fantastic so I can't wait to share them with you. The first feature on this list is one that I am honestly so happy about and something that New Horizons really needed to elevate villager interactions in the game. When you invite a villager to the roost that previously lived on your island, they will actually remember you, which is such a lovely detail. I'm really happy about this because back in Animal Crossing New Leaf, you could actually meet your former villagers in the main street and have a chat with them, but there was nothing really like that in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it seemed like once your characters moved out, they'd completely forget about you like you never even existed before. So now the fact that they've improved upon this and villagers can actually remember their past life with you is something that I'm so happy happy about, it's absolutely adorable and one of the great quality of life updates they've made. For the second item on this list, another really great quality of life change that they've introduced in this new update is the fact that you can access money through your friends ATMs now. This is something that you previously couldn't do in the game since we didn't have the ATM item and they locked it being done in resident services. Now it's still locked in resident services, you can't use that nook stop machine but you can use their ATMs to withdraw money which is incredibly convenient and honestly something that I feel like should have been in there since the very start but hey better late than never. In at number 3 we have Kornima who will appear throughout the month of November to give you free acorns every single day. This is a really great way to get a ton of this resource which honestly was a bit annoying to get before with you having to shake all the different trees. He won't do the same for pine cones but this is a really nice throwback to Animal Crossing Wild World where Kornima would actually take part in the acorn festival event. So if you need to get those acorns just head to Harvey's Island and as long as you've unlocked Tortima throughout the month of November you should be seeing him and you'll be able to stock up on these acorns. Honestly he's given me so many now that I literally don't know what to do with them. For number four we have another one from Harvey's Island. Now we all know that Cyrus can customize furniture which previously you couldn't customize before and would have to trade for. But one really neat detail is that he can actually customize event furniture. This means that say for example the spooky set or the festival set you won't need to use the special materials like feathers or pumpkins in order to customize them the way you want to. Instead, you can just take these to Cyrus and he will customize them, meaning this is the first way you can change these items without needing the resources to do so. I honestly feel like this is one of the best quality of life updates in the entire 2.0 update. I really love Cyrus and all that he does. I'm so happy that finally we can customize all these different items that we weren't able to before. And it's great that they've made it so convenient to customize these event furniture, especially since you might not even have any of the feathers or pumpkins left over. In at number 4, we have another one with Harvey's Island and this time it focuses on Katrina. Now one of Katrina's really exciting new features which Nintendo didn't reveal before the update is that Katrina will actually give you a friendship blessing as a part of her services. Katrina's friendship blessing will double your friendship with the character that you choose. For example, I chose Bob. I mean, we're already best friends, but hey, it can't hurt to bless our friendship even more. So I decided to do that. It did actually cost me 10,000 bells mind you, so it's not the cheapest service in the world, but I definitely think it's worth doing if you want to increase that friendship and get those villager photos that many of us have been so desperate to get our hands on. Katrina is honestly a pretty elaborate new feature in the game and I'd love to make an entire video about the luck feature in Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's so exciting that this actually returned as honestly I kind of assumed Katrina might just be some nice flavor text and new dialogue, but nope, she does actually have a functional purpose which is insane insanely cool and it's definitely worth going there every day so you can have a chat with her. Even with the feature aside, honestly her dialogue is amazing and it's something you won't want to miss out on. She's one of the funniest and most interesting characters in the entire game so definitely unlock Katrina on Harvey's Island when you can, you won't regret it. In at number 6, another one on Harvey's Island, don't worry we're about to move away from here very soon. But Leaf has a brand new feature as well that wasn't revealed by Nintendo and that's that Leaf will actually pull the weeds on your island for a hundred thousand bells. Now Leaf won't actually give me the opportunity to do this because he says there's not enough weeds on my island. 
but I guess if you've been gone for some months and your island is just riddled with weeds, then you can return to the game safely knowing that Leaf will do a nice favor for you and weed your island. It's not going to be very cheap though, so you'll have to make sure you're stocking up on those bells. You honestly need so many bells in this new update, so you're definitely going to want to have enough to weed your island if maybe you've been away for a while and you just don't feel like doing it yourself. The good news is he will actually put the weeds in your storage box so you won't lose them, so technically you could actually sell them back to him to make back some of the profits that you lost. But I just thought this was a really nice new quality of life update that will definitely help a lot of people who have maybe been away for a while. In at number 7, we have a new type of Capon's Island which is insanely cool. This is known as the Star Island, where you can see shooting stars and also star fragments. One of the coolest features of this is that you can hit a rock and instead of either bells or stones or iron nuggets coming out, you can actually get star fragments. So this is a really great way to farm those star fragments in the game and get a whole bunch of them. This is honestly one of the coolest islands that I've seen so far, but there's so many different ones and I'd love for you to let me know in the comment section down below what are some of the absolute best islands that you've seen so far and visited. The Star Island is definitely worth visiting though, if you do get it, make sure you make the most of it because those star fragments aren't the easiest material to get in the game and this definitely gives you a bit of a head start if you're trying to craft some of those items you really want. In at number 8, we actually have a brand new holiday which was introduced as a nice surprise by Nintendo known as Nook Friday. And of course this is the Black Friday sale for Nook's Cranny which will happen this year on the 26th of November. It happens right after Turkey Day actually so that's going to be a pretty busy time for people. But it's really cool because basically you get 30% off in Nook's Cranny that entire day. This means that if there's any insanely expensive items there that you really want to get your hands on or maybe some tools or just wallpaper or anything like that, you can get 30% off your purchase, which means you'll be making some pretty good savings. Although it's a shame there's no actual Nook's Cranny upgrade, they've definitely improved Nook's Cranny a lot this time around. Definitely let me know in the comment section down below what some of the best new items you've found at Nook's Cranny are. At number 9, this is a great quality of life update. Of course, we have the storage shed now, which is absolutely fantastic and so great. One really great change though, is that you can actually multi-select items now to put into your storage, something that you previously couldn't do. This is honestly so convenient, so when you're trying to store a bunch of items at once, you don't have to go one by one by one like you do in your own home. You can simply multi-select as many items as you want, so that you can put them all in at once. This is honestly fantastic and I'm so happy about the storage sheds. Stuff like this has just improved Animal Crossing New Horizons as a game so much and I'm honestly so happy that we finally have it. In at number 10, another great quality of life improvement and just a nice gesture from Nintendo. Tom Nook has decreased some of the moving fees that he will require when you need to move a villager's house. I really really like this, now it only costs 10,000 bells in order to move a village's house rather than the original 50,000 and I believe there might be some other changes as well. This is honestly so helpful because I find myself moving villager homes a lot and it can be a bit of an inconvenient process. So the fact that you'll need to spend a lot less now doing it I think is really nice and it just helps make the process a lot smoother. So these were 10 features that you might have missed in the new 2.0 update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Let me know what other discoveries you've made in this new update, I really want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know you did. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications for more Animal Crossing videos. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.